back to my channel so I am so excited I have been scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and seeing love me hairs ads for the hairband wig now you know I this normally isn't something that I would go for but they reached out to me so yes we are collaborating again um they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try the headband wig and of course I was like you know let's do it Let, let's do it so I have worn the hair out I got a whole lot of compliments a lot of people loved it and when I told them it was a headband wig they were blown away like oh my god I seen that I was really thinking about I got a lot of questions when I posted it on my Instagram. Make sure y'all are following me because nine times out of ten, you'll see things on my Instagram page before you see it on YouTube. So follow me at Monroe underscore Max. But yeah, y'all, I was seeing this wig left and right, so I was really excited to try it. Um, we are going to go ahead and get into this video. But first and foremost, remember to subscribe before you leave. You know what? Just go ahead and stop right now. Just stop right now and subscribe. Um, remember that everything is always in the description box. I'm really good about my description box. So everything that you need to know that is included in this video is going to be down there. Even the edge control that I use is going to be down there, y'all. Like, I don't play about that description box. I can't stand watching the video and the person says, such and such and such is going to be in the description box and I go down there and look and it's gone. That ain't me, you know, so subscribe to me because I won't let you down. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into the video. So first and foremost, let's get into what came in the box. As y'all know, Love Me Hair, that signature purple box. Um, and of course it came with the wig in it. I have worn this wig before. Um, I believe I wore it on date night. I do have pictures on my Instagram. Remember to follow my new Instagram page at Netta Monroe underscore Mac. So this is the wig and I never sprayed it down or anything because I wanted to make sure I did that on the video. So these are the three combs that are right behind the band and then there is a comb right here at the nape and then this is what the velcro looks like and make sure you don't be like me make sure that you actually fasten this when you take it off so that the hair does not stick to the velcro because the velcro it's definitely got a nice tight hold to it. So the wig came in this purple mesh bag that says the Love Me Hair logo on it. Um, it also came with this bag that I have not opened. So let's go ahead and open that on camera now. It came with the edges brush. It also came with elastic band. China, quiet down. Came with a Love Me Hair hairpin, super cute. Bobby pins as well it also came with tweezers and it also came with a ooh, okay it came with a scarf to tie those edges down oh okay love me hair i see y'all it also came with a wig cap and not sure as to why this would be used i guess if you're someone who likes to hold your hair into place underneath the wig then it'll be fine then it has the refund policy and how you care for your hair and all of that jazz so they definitely definitely deliver on the packaging as always so of course it's a headband wig and I see a lot of people just wearing it with the black headband that comes attached to it but love me hair actually gave out like headband choices okay so we have this headband here and it crisscrosses in the front and then we have this yellow one and it's a bit thinner i actually really really like this one then we also have this navy blue like a mustard yellow hunter green and white we have this um army fatigue which i'm probably going to wear this one today and then they have this um leopard print and I wore this the last time I wore this wig, which is why I'm going to wear this Army Fatigue one today. So a total of five headbands come with your 
headband wig. So I normally wear wigs, but I've been giving my hair a break so I don't have the cornrows. If you have like grown out cornrows, you can easily just slick back this front portion, make it look nice and smooth before you put on your headband wig. And that's like much easier. I wish that I had my cornrows in, but I don't. So today I'm gonna be putting my hair in a ponytail, making sure this portion up here is nice and slick and just putting it in a super low ponytail so it does not um, bulk up in the back. If you are someone who would rather do that, don't get a straight texture. Definitely make sure you get a wave or a curly texture because that's really gonna help you conceal that ponytail and back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb my hair back. Mm -hmm. Ah, I got a knot. <laughs> actually get this edge control from the hair store I love it a lot it really holds so I'm going to take a dollar <laughs> whatever you want to say I'm going to take a pretty gracious amount and go ahead and put that Mommy. so I'm putting a pretty generous amount right here because I want this joint to slake back okay baby so now I'm going to comb this area again this is a trick that I do to locate my baby hair before I put my hair into the ponytail I just take my finger and I just rub some hair out whatever comes out that is the hair that's gonna crawl out anyway and so I'm gonna make that my little baby hair real so let's see if I can get some more hair crawling out. We're gonna get this little, little sideburn area. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my ponytail holder. So what I did was I did not pull the hair all the way through the bow. Hold on, let me turn around. So then I go underneath and kind of split my hair and I stuff the end underneath that. So now I like to put the edge control on the back of my hand. So now I'm going to take the edge control and I'm just gonna put just a little bit on each part Y'all, my child is, is having a ball. So, on those three parts, and on these three parts that I have separated out, and now I'm just gonna take this comb, All right, so you see my edges are laid. And again, I use Style Factor Edge Booster. And to me, they are definitely different. I like the one in the pink. Um, they come in all different colors. They say it's all the same, but to me, it's not. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and place the wig on. So where I want the hairband to be, I definitely wanted to show a little bit of my hair. So I am just going to Put it right there. And then I'm gonna take this Velcro and secure it. So I have water and conditioner. The conditioner in this bottle is the Brazilian Keratin Therapy by OGX. And I just put a little bit in there. I just cover the bottom, make sure the bottom has a thin coat on it, and then I fill up the rest with water. That's how I do my curly hair. Um, when I don't want it to be too weighed down, you don't want too much product on hair because it just makes it start acting wonky, you know? Doesn't the hair look so much better after I have combed it out and sprayed it? Like, oh, it looks so much better. Do not take your curly hair out the box, out the pack, out the whatever you're taking it out of and just throw it on your head. Come on, comb it out. Spray it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my headband. So I just put it all the way onto my neck and pull the hair out from around it. And then make sure that it is positioned right and just pull it up carefully over my face with all this makeup on. 
and place it right over top of that black headband. And there you have your headband wig. Slick it in the ponytail, lay your baby hair, slap the wig on, slap on a headband. Or shoot, the last part is optional. Like, you cannot beat it. <sighs> Done changed up my whole look, my whole vibe in like 10 minutes. So what do y'all think about this look on me? How do y'all like the headband wig? Let me know down in the comment section. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give me a thumbs up. You know it really helps my channel. Make sure you follow me on social media on my new page at Netta Monroe underscore Mac because I now post myself all over it um, on my old page at I am underscore Netta Monroe. That was more of a work page of me doing people's hair and things like that. Of course, I'll still post myself on it here and there, but you know, I really needed a page that was about, you know, me. Do not forget to check the description box so the links that you need will be down there. The link to this wig, the link to the Love Me Hair website, the um, Love Me Hair Instagram page, my Instagram information, all of that jazz, that's gonna be down there. And before I leave, I do have a coupon code for y'all. It is Netta20. Make sure that you use it at checkout if you decide to shop. All right, I'm out, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Everything I do is lit.